Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Super Z2 uh, Hakai and Now, in this stage, to get on well, the next stage, to get the SR point, you're going to have to de defeat all enemies within three turns from their arrival, leaving the dimensional monster MD for last. So, in the beginning part of the stage, you're going to have pretty much a lot of, um, you don't have all the time in the world because the enemies will actually uh, run after you, uh, after, after three turns, and so the dimensional beasts will come in and you're gonna have to defeat all of them within three turns, leaving the dimensional mo monster and D for last. That part I gave gun the Gundam Wing robot didn't actually do anything. I thought it would do something, but it didn't do what I thought it would do. So, yeah. So, uh, this stage, it's its actually one of the more easier stages that I have done overall. I did lose a unit, but that was because I didn't realize they were hurt, I guess, and I let them took a little bit to, I, I, I let them, I, if I left them alone, they would have been fine, but I, I, I got them to move in, and I caused them to, to die, or get destroyed, so, I mean... Spoiler alert, but it's not that really a big of an issue that I tell you, you know, something that happened. So yeah, this is po this is post. So yeah, these guys, yeah, these are the units that I don't. I, li I like them in Z a lot more because they had good like BGM, a good BGM. But in this, this BGM is alright, but I don't really. It's a bit too repetitive for me. And I don't really like it that much. You I mean like all, all the songs in this game are, are almost repetitive, but I, I just don't really like this this one. I really just I I don't like this one that much to be honest. So I I, I, re I replaced their the BGMs right here because I got fed up with the music. And I think because I have my other safe felt, I have songs in here that I'm not supposed to have yet. That song that I just played there for a second actually is played in this stage a little bit later. But anyway, I, I find Serario Days, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll just stick with Serario Days from Grand Login right now. So, I, 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 uh... So I have, I have uh, something going on, something that I know is good going on in the background for these units. I forget if this one, uh, this battle should actually lose, and buy it. I think that was uh, the tip to, just to not upgrade this battleship because it eventually leaves your roster. And you just been I don't believe you get the money back, so don't waste your time with it. I think that was recommended on the uh, wiki that I use. I forget the, I know the name, but well, I think I think I know the name. The thing is, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna say it right. Like Akurasu, something like that. Akurasu.net.com, I forget which one it is, but. So I'm thinking of who to pick, you know, for that thing of picking in Sand Rock. Lock on, but I eventually pick lock on, which actually might have been a bad idea. And that f because he's the unit, I eventually do lose. And uh, I think I think it was fine to have him because he did help overall.
So yeah, I mean, for those of you that haven't been uh, watching the Beta Extra, I've been doing this post commentary because it's a little bit more uh, easy to edit and uh, commentate over, I guess, because I know, actually know a little bit of what's going on now. It's, um, because uh, I know the outcome. So, I, it is a spoiler alert, I get the SR point in the stage and I complete the stage. So that's another thing. I, I know I'm going to, you know, I know what's going to happen. So I can actually talk about what about things that are going to happen and stuff like that. I, I guess that's what I'm going to go for. That and uh, I won't have to worry about restarting if I, if I mess up like the entire recording over again. That and if I can tell you guys to watch out for some things that might be uh, I guess dangerous in, in certain stages. Awesome. I actually, I, I don't know what these guys are called, but I actually kill all of them except that that red one that, that you might have seen. So yeah, I don't want to get hit more than necessary, so I decided to send units out that uh, are less likely to get hit by the by these guys. Considering how much less damage uh, I forget what this gun called. That gun specifically is called. But he takes, you know, he's quite bulky so I, I, after I send him to do some damage I'm gonna wing in to finish the, the unit off. I, I have Scope Dog here, but I he's not he's rarely used in the stage because of his limited like, attack capabilities. I kind of want to get him to seven around seventy kills by stage like thirty ninety because I can get a secret then something around there stage thirty whatever I think it's thirty nine. But you also do some other thing in a stage. But uh. When, when we get to there, when we, when we get to there, I'll explain it more in depth. But you want to get a lot of kills with Cherico. You want to get 70 or more kills with Cherico if you want to, if you want a, 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 I guess a good unit for him. It's like a black scope dog, but uh, that's essentially what it is. Yeah, you might also want to equip Getter with the with the EN recovery parts that I did because he does use a lot of energy, especially if you don't have energy saver right now. So that that's probably a part you're going to want to give Getter, simply because he uses a lot of energy, and you, you, there are times where you're going to want to use him because he's the only one that can do a lot of damage, because he's like one of the only super robots I actually have here. So he's going to be the only one that's going to do a lot of damage and you're not going to have anybody else. Here I'm trying to figure out what to do with uh, this unit, but I figured I discovered that uh, that unit can, actually, can only attack up close right now. And I saw that that unit actually had like no HP, so I decided to finish it off with the Nervash, this unit is called. Yeah, the grand login team fits with a lot of things. I give it to the um, in my in my original playthrough of the game. I gave it to the Gundam units um, that are returning from Z, like uh, you know, new Gundam, Zeta Gundam. Simply because I main the title is is a is a decent uh, BGM, but it's not. Um, I like to have like uh, songs like uh, "Sorry Your Face" playing in the background. Like sure, it's it's good. I like I like the main title a lot in uh, in R because it was a bit more it was it was faster paced than that one. So it was a bit more action oriented. Main title is is fine, but like I've grown to like the theme over the years because I used to just just not like it at all. 
but I think uh, it's all right. Mostly because I have to deal with it. <laughs> I have Alpha Gaiden instead of I have to deal with the Alpha Gaiden. I still haven't beaten Alpha Gaiden, even though I'm like on the last two stages. I just, I just, I just gave up on it. I was afraid that guy was gonna die. To be honest with you. There's actually a secret you can get with him as well. I believe before he leaves on stage 33, you need to get him to have the other guy. The other guy on the, you know, the skateboard. <laughs> you have to get him to have 50 kills to get a certain special unit with him. And I believe they leave on stage 33, so if you want to get us another special unit, I guess, get the other guy to at least 50 kills. So I figured out kind of why Jericho has been having a bit of trouble attacking units. It's actually because I discovered that he, that he has another um, pack, I guess you could call it. He has another unit variation where you know he puts more stuff. His mobility is lower, but he has more uh, attacking attack options. This is like, and that unit is actually the unit he like uses a lot for like, the next few games for the rest of the Z2, the Z series games. So, so once I saw that he had that, I'm like, oh, why isn't this the default option? Why did they give me the, the like, bare bones scope dogs? I think in the other games they they fix this by just having you use the the, the, the that scope dog the, the, um, by default. I put him in there because you know I'm afraid of him getting killed. So I, so I saw that the battleship here could, could kill units, so I decided to use it. And and I think I'm going to have to use uh, battleships a lot more, especially in a... Especially, in, especially, in a mode, especially if, since I'm getting all the SR points and this is hard mode, I, can, I need to use all the units I can get. So I finished this unit off. I, no, I miss actually. And I think they he missed me as well. He might have actually hit me, but we met we missed. I missed. So I, I was a little bit, you know, pissed there. But I get over it. So Tieria, if that's how you say his name, and Brasta. Or yeah, Brasta. Or Crow. Crow's the pilot Brasta's unit. Fin finish him off. Although I think his name is Crow Brasta actually, so I don't know. I guess both both names work. Yeah, that probably was a bad idea, but you know, it worked out in the end. Yeah, you know what? I think you're gonna want to get your units into a similar possession that I'm getting them in because I got them because the position that I'm getting into them right now actually worked out quite well for fighting the the, the, the Jigenjus or Dimensional Beast when they came in. So if your units are if your units are all scrunched up up to the north there, you're gonna have a little bit of a tougher time. Hitting, hitting all the, uh, hitting uh, the GNUs because they're gonna be, they're gonna spawn over all the way over here where I am. Oh, he was trying to see what turn it was, or to see if the SR point was actually being counted from here. But it wasn't, so I was fine. If the SR point is question mark, question mark, question mark, that means like it hasn't started yet, like the. Uh, the ability to get it hasn't started yet, I guess you would say. So this happens. Uh, you might not want to put Brasta all that way over there. And like, I, you probably don't want to attack that that uh, red uh, whatever at all. Because it, it, it really wasn't. You know, 
worth it because I wasted an ACP, which could have been used better. Okay. So here we meet Eureka, I think. I forget what our character's name. I think his name. I think our character. I forget what the the male character there is called. I think it's Renton or something like that. So like he like transforms and becomes pink. So yeah, if there's ever an English patch released for like any of these games, and like I complete the game again, and like, I play the game, I probably will do the game over again. Just for the sake of there's an English patch, it's in English. Let's go play it again and actually know what, what the heck's going on. Because if you saw, if you've been paying attention to what I say, you've seen the uh, my first playthrough of the game. And it might have actually been my second playthrough. Oh no, no, no! I think when you restart a game, when you restart, because uh, I played, the, I did play this game twice. This being my third time, because I, w I was playing through the second routes. I actually went a route I didn't even go through this time when, it, when in the beginning. So this that, that that beginning part was actually a whole new experience for me because. When I when I first play these these games, I go the first route always pick the first option. The second time, I always pick the second option. So I go through you know the top routes and the bottom routes. And if there are any in between routes, I don't go. I'm not going to bother playing the game a, a third or fourth time. Just to go play through like a few new stages. But yeah, like I think one playthrough is like 30 hours of worth of, worth of content here, which is a which is a lot of time. 30, 30 hours. When I, when I play a game and I get like around 30 hours, like uh, Monster Hunter, for example, I, I play playing it. I got around 80 hours in, and I wasn't enjoying it that much anymore. But that's 80 hours. I'm like, I got my money's worth. I played. I could play more, but I eventually lost it because I, could, I did a system transfer to my new 3DS, and I, and I lost it because of the system transfer. Because I thought that maybe I could keep the games that I bought, but I think that only works if you don't have a uh, Nintendo Network ID on, on your uh, on your system. But I did, so I lost it. I wasn't too pissed. I lost like hard, I lost Story of Seasons and Monster Hunter, but. I wasn't too peeved about it because I wasn't playing those games anymore. I was a little bit peeved about Story of Seasons though, because I was trying to I was trying to get far into it. I got pretty decently far into it, but I stopped playing it for a little while, so I decided I wasn't playing it anyway. I'm not gonna get too pissed, I did waste some money on it, but I got around 30 hours out of that. I didn't get as far as I wanted to, but I got my bit of enjoyment out of that. I, w I should have gotten a physical copy. Uh, that's the only thing. I should I probably should have gotten a physical copy. The reason I wasn't too pissed about it because I also had Rune Factory 4, which I haven't got, which I got pretty far into it. Like, I beat the main story, like the first time I ever did that in a Rune Factory game. Usually I get pretty close and then stop playing. Uh, but I didn't actually marry someone in that game. That's usually like, the goal you can get to as well. Because there's some like little extra stuff you can do when you do that, so I wanted to do that, but I never was able to. Mostly because there are some like ridiculous marriage marriage requirements where you have to see certain events before you can actually um, marry someone. Like, so it was kind of ridiculous because <laughs> I never got all the events to pop up, so I stopped playing the game. And that was another reason I was so pissed about not getting Story of Seasons, but by not by uh, losing Story of Seasons. Because I had Room Factory 4 to deal with. I may not have mentioned that it was Room Factory 4, I'm sorry. So I'm closer over here to attack the beginning over there. And I think I actually finished it off with with zero here. I was worried that he wasn't going to finish out because Zero right now is actually pretty fragile considering he doesn't have any other spirits besides aim. I think, yeah, he actually gets hit. So I messed up here and I'm like, oh crap, what am I going to do? So I, I thought that originally I was just going to 
zoom in to, to repair them, I decided, nah, I'll just use, uh, I'll just use trust on So he's fine, and then I go up, uh, I don't go up just yet. And then I look at that guy, and I'm thinking, okay, I originally would have gone for him last, considering he's a piloted unit or anything, but you have to kill the dimensional monster MD fast, for last, not fast, which is why I decided to, uh, Go after him right from the get-go because I have enough units. So I move. I think that's called the get-go over there, so he could, so he could, he could possibly attack that guy uh, on his uh, on the next turn. But I move in and start attacking him with you know the Eureka Seven units. These are from the movie, which is why what is it called? The, the main theme isn't, isn't here. I forget what it's called. I actually like this this song playing right now, so I'm probably gonna replace their their songs with this song, their BGM with this BGM, uh, the Eureka units, instead of using the Gurnalog and theme over and over again. So I do quite a bit of damage to this guy, and I, re and, uh, I realize that at this point that I could probably finish him off this turn and then focus on attacking the, the other guys. I did mess up a little bit because I did skip his attack animation a little bit later, like when he actually hit somebody. He hits the Nerve Ash with the... Uh, nerve Ash had Invisan, so you know, didn't do anything. But I messed up and didn't show the attack, attack animation. So that, that sucked. But what can you do? So here, I didn't realize that how many, how much ACPs I was using. It's actually used quite a bit of them. I think this is the second one I've used in a while. I don't know. I only have four. Because eventually, I, I tried to start, I started attacking the Dimension Monster MD, and I didn't realize I ran out of uh, ACPs. It worked out well in the end, eventually. Nerve Ash doesn't have a chance to hit. And I actually, I was kind of lucky that Bross actually, because he could have missed. I didn't realize how low of a percentage he had until look right now. He has a 69% chance to actually hit. So I use Focus, so he, you know, he has a higher percent chance of hitting. There's a 1% chance to miss, so I'm not really too worried about him not, not hitting uh, another unit there. I wonder why they didn't use like th this series again after the Z2 games because they aren't in Z3, uh, and I always wondered why they weren't. Like I thought maybe they come back in Tangled but they didn't. Maybe it's like one of the voice actors weren't, uh, weren't available or something like that. Because I know the reason I, I, I think. I don't know if this information is true, this is what I you know read up around on the internet. Is that the the voice the, the main voice actor, like you know for Dan Kruger, which is he his voice is like wearing out, something like that. And he can't really do what he like he can't really voice act. Which is why Dan like he's ill, I think is is what like like ill and it's like his voice is being is messed up because of his illness. And like he can't you know voice act well. So like I think that's why Dan Kruger has been in. And why Gundam double a uh, double Z. Double Zeta. Double Z. Gundam Z Z. Why that game why that why that series hasn't been in in uh the Super Bowl Award game for a long time is because I believe the voice actor for Puru, Puru, died. It's something along those lines happened, which is why it hasn't been in a game for a while. 
I think the voice, the original voice actor for Bright died too, but he was actually replaced in like uh in like Gundam Unicorn. Like they find a new they found a new voice actor kind of there or before then. They could have found you know a new one before then, but But yeah, they got a new one for Bright, and it sounds like exactly like the last voice actor. So I mean I can't I can't notice the difference. I think that's the case anyway, because you know this this is just stuff I've read uh, I've read on the internet and I could be totally wrong on my information, but that's what I think that's what's going on. Like I said could be wrong, but I think that's that pretty sure that's what's going on. Another like monster MD attacks me, so I attack it back. So, uh, yeah, so we need to finish that guy off. I try to finish him off, but I actually am unable to this turn, and this is what causes uh, Lock On to die. Well, not die, but you know, get shot down. I don't actually do enough damage to this guy. I think I missed there, which I was disappointed by. A little bit pissed by. I was thinking of attacking it with Cat Callan right, right over here, but I decided not to and just attack the other dimensional beast, like in my immediate like area. And the fact that I couldn't hit that one. I so I thought it was best just to try to have lock on to attack it. I thought maybe he would do that damage because I thought I did upgrade him his damage a little bit, but I didn't. I realized he's, he's not on. He doesn't have uh, two upgrades to his uh, damage, only one. I think he still only has one. Do the damage to that dimensional beast over there, you zero, and I move him a bit closer to the dimensional beast MD, I believe, so he can actually do stuff over there. So I just used, you know, his ultimate move there to see if it would hit, and it did hit. And I was comfortable with zero actually uh, attacking it now, because I, I hope that he could do enough damage to kill it. And as it turns out, he does. He does do enough damage to kill it. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but he, he did do enough damage to, to stop. And over here, I mess up. Because <laughs> I try to get Scope Dog to attack one of those guys. So I do focus. And then I do that. <laughs> I was a little bit too, I guess, button happy. <laughs> so, that, that happened. I don't know why I did that weird... <laughs> I can't even do that weird laugh I did. Again. So, uh, you know, you know, uh, Exia has that ability to move again. Which is extremely helpful. I, I think I eventually do put... I, I will eventually put that on a lot of the units that I can. So here I'm wondering what what exactly to do. Because all I want to do is some, just do some extra damage to that specific unit. And I th don't... I think I just moved the Gecko closer right now. I moved it right next to Brasta. And I was thinking of using the combat feedback system or whatever it is on the Jigenju right there. But I decided just to end the turn and have, have everybody, you know... This is where the lock and I didn't realize how much damage we took from the Dimensional Beast earlier, but I wasn't going to restart just to have him survive. That would break up the flow of the video, I guess. Charlie's some money, but I'm not, you know, 
too worried about it. The only thing I think I didn't do during this episode is that in the intermission screen I didn't uh, do the thing to get more money from units I didn't use. I'll do that next, the beginning of the next episode though, so. So yeah, like I said, if I left Lockhart over there, he would have been perfectly fine, but I didn't. I'm gonna carry this there to finish that guy off, and I look over here, and I and I think I defeated everybody. So I'm a little bit uh, kind of puzzled, just because I'm wearing. Because I think I checked several times just to make sure if I. Yeah, I was gonna have zero attack that guy. And so I do this, oh no, I think I use evade, yeah, I use evade, so everybody, you know, has a higher chance to evade the dimensional beast. I, I think it might not be evade, but more defensive, of defensive command. So here, I do this to check, to make sure there's no more dimensional beasts on the map, and, you know, you see that it has that much HP, so I attack it. With the gecko here, I believe. Yep. So we can get some damage, you know, done to it. Because battle battleships, I call them battleships. I'm like, but ba these battleships don't have, uh, don't have, are very good. Tanky. So they could take some hits. Like I know for sure they won't die from one hit. So they do 2,000 damage, but I don't see his two hits. So this is the dimension of this that killed Bronson in one hit earlier. So it attacks us, and we get hit. And it will we get hit real bad. This sounds painful. And looks painful too. It does 4,000 damage. That's partially because it was a critical hit, so it probably would have been a little bit less if it you know, wasn't a hit good. But you know, Brasta comes in with the, the assist and helps out. Do I skip this animation? I'm, I, don't, no, I don't think I do. Oh, no, I want to see how much damage this would do. It does 2,000 damage on a critical hit, mind you. So now he has 4,000 HP. So I was thinking what to do next. I didn't, because these, uh, was the Eureka 7 guys look, or look very fragile. I'm sure they are very fragile. So I decided to use Gundam Wing here. And turns out, I'm not sure if he's called Gundam Wing or Wing to Gundam. I don't know what his actual name is called after its series name. So I use him because he, you know, it was the safest, safest thing to do. So I think you might, you might fill the stage if the the, the uh, Eureka Seven guys uh, get chopped down. So I use, you know, Hero here. Call him Hero, I guess. Because Hero is his uh, name. So I use Hero. He does 4,000 damage. Hooray. And the Dimension of Beast only has 400 left. So I know I can finish him off with Brasa, and that dead be fitting. So I, I do that. And, uh... I knew this would be enough to finish it off, but I, I wanted to see if the animation go through. And I think there's a dynamic kill for this move. And there it is. So I thought that was fitting. It only does damage damage, which is actually kind of... 
It makes sense. As it, it is a boss type unit, and I think it, I think it might uh, might run after a few turns, as it does there. I think get a few extra pieces of dialogue for getting SR points, but I can't read Japanese, so it, it does not, it's not really. Not really make me uh, <laughs> any more interested in the game. Well, actually, the SR points have really. If there were SR points, I don't think I would have been that interested in replaying this game again because I didn't really try to get SR points before. I did get them though occasionally because I just. Because the way I played, I just got them. So again, I'm messing around with the parts here. I don't know what that, what that one part there did. It does something when you reach 130 will, so I just gave it to Gundamex here, yeah, because he could, he, could, he could use more stuff, you know. No. He doesn't really need more stuff, but I gave it to him anyway. So upgrade the, the Eureka 7, guys. Try to upgrade Bross's uh, power. I'm thinking I'll, because I'm going to do that uh, next, uh, next episode. Because I didn't use the, I didn't get done more money with the, uh, with the, with the guys I didn't use. I think I get, uh, you know, get uh, him caught up, and then I realize the lock on is hasn't been upgraded a lot, and I and I use him quite a bit, so I should probably focus on him more. So here I'm looking at the different uh, characters, see if they can get anything. And all, none of them can really get anything right now. So I go back, and here's where I realize that because uh, I saw that because I saw that chair because I just remembered that this guy, there, there, he has more weapons here, and I just remembered that that was an option you could do. And I was trying to see if if he actually had you know that another pack, I guess you could call it. And he did, and I'm like, oh crap! Why haven't I been using this? this guy. The thing is he has less mobility and I'm trying to get him a, you know, a part with more mobility but a lot of other units that I would like to have a lot of mobility already have those parts on them. And process and the Chirico has a, a lot of uh, parts already dedicated to mobility on him. I was thinking maybe I could upgrade it once and no. So I think I I mess around here on the part screen a little bit because of what I just told you. But what I do is I upgrade his e, e his Chirico's evade stat. Over here. I, I used pretty much all my pilot points to do this. I didn't want to originally, but I said it'd be better if I just did this. So I do, I do do that, and I save the game. But I didn't use, you know, the option to get more money off the pilots I didn't use, which I'm going to do next episode, as I've said several times already. But yeah, I think this is it for this episode of Super Robot Wars Z2 Hakaian. So I hope to see you guys again next time, whenever that is. Bye.